So we can create a dynamic route where whatever I type after this slash blocks then slash whatever I type will become the route or the path for our next application. But how we can get whatever the dynamic slug of the blog post is? It's very easy. If you are familiar with view router or Vue.js, you know these kind of things. So I will open underscore blog dot view file, which you can open from here also. Here on this export default part, I will create a created hook. Inside this, I'm going to log out and I will say this dot dollar route dot params. Params means parameters. So if I save it, save this file, we have some kind of error. Okay, so it says console and uh, this error is because of ESLint. What you can simply do. So here you just need to type a simple comment and that comment will be like ESLint disable no console and just close this comment. Save this line or save this file actually. Yes, it is now compiled. So yes, you can do this here or you can put the rule on .eslintrc.js file and here you inst inside here this rules section you need to say no console and it will be off. You can do like this kind of things but just for now I need to use this. Okay, so it is saved and if I go here open my chrome dev tool and here if I refresh this page you can see we have a blog blog and that's exactly what we want this is the parameter we have here so if I say learn Nuxt.js from Bitfumes if this is the route so as soon as this component is created we get that console log of blog and the name of this but what if I just want to have some numbers here and that will be easy if you just want to show the blog with the blog ID. So generally we are not doing this but there may be case if you want to do and you don't want to have any string here. So how we can prevent of having a string here. So we need to give any kind of message. So first thing first what I'm going to do I will create a data and here. I will return and I will say slug is equal to this thing. So slug is going to be this. So I will give comma here and comment this console and instead of I am a blog post I am going to show the slug. So this means if I go and it says blog and this but we want slug dot blog so this means that's that's blog is coming because our file name is underscore blog what if i say underscore post so now if i remove this so now our param will become post is equal to asdf so this time we need to say slug dot post simple so I was talking about the validation so now again next is very easy to use and it says okay if you want validation so I will say validate and in this function we can validate the parameter so obviously this function automatically get the params so in this validation method what I'm going to do I'm going to return true so let's see what's going to happen if I refresh it's working with every kind of parameter but I will say okay whatever the param is I need to match it with only numeric values so here I'm using the regular expression so inside regular expression I'm saying everything has to be a digit and this has to be one or more and match till the end and after that I just need to say test and I will say params dot post actually this is the param dot post is our post so this is very simple and if I go here refresh this page yes you can see 
2 is here but if i say block we have this error page 404 not found because this validation is taking care of having parameter just as a numeric value so if i comment this validate function and refresh this page yes we have the block but as soon as i uncomment this validate and refresh this page we have 404 not found so this is very handy tool to have on next and we will going to use it later so these things are here and in the next episode we are going to talk about transitions in the pages so that's very nice we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye